What's up, everybody? Back here with another episode of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth Part 10, I think. Part 10, Part 9. I basically just came here to the new place, Nibelheim. I didn't actually go into the town yet, but I just dropped in and I got the chocobo. You see the map. So basically, I did everything up until we go to the next part of the story. And what's so cool about this biome is this is a whole new region. Whole new region, but what's cool about these chocobos is they can fly. I mean, they glide, they kind of like levitate. That's the better word, they levitate. So this is how I caught the chocobo. I had to like throw these little things down and guide it through this path. It was kind of dope, man, it was kind of dope. When you glide like this over water though, like you see, you can only glide a little bit over the water, I mean over the land. But when you put it over water, he can go up super high. And then you could like get up to certain areas and then you could glide in a little bit with him. And it's these little things that's floating around everywhere. I don't know if we're going to see any because I got most of these down here. But ain't this beautiful though? Like it's crazy as hell that this is like we still playing this game and I've been playing a lot off camera. Like probably I put in last night. I probably put in like 10 hours. Uh, the night before like 10 hours just like grinding off camera and doing the little quest where you you know fight shit and all of that type of stuff but i'm gonna do some of that on camera this time and off so we get both oh this is a little it's a little village huh oh this is the chocobo ranch hold up let's turn this up cloud billy what are you doing out here? Um, I haven't had much luck at the racetrack lately. Not the good kind, that's for sure. So I came here to train. Train? Here? You don't know where you are? This is the home of THE Chocobo Sage, a living legend. Surely you've heard of the man. <laughs> Who is that? <laughs> Did someone say living legend? <coughs> Don't die, bro. <laughs> you okay, crazy. sir? <clears throat> oh, I am now. Thought I was a goner. Huh? Mind telling me who you are? You don't get many visitors out here in the boonies. Uh, this is Cloud. He's a jockey for Gramps' ranch. Oh, he is, huh? Perfect. Billy here needs some help. You can pick up the poor boy's slack. There's this big race at the saucer, the Gold Cup, and it's coming up soon. We gotta get in on that, so I came here to bone up. I'm learning all sorts of stuff. See? Hey, tell me you're not buying this choco dung. Picking garbage out of a pool isn't training, it's manual labor. You see it too, right? I mean... It is pretty weird. The sage is the real deal. The man's not a sage. I don't even know who he is. So weird. Come on, he's just jerking you around. I suppose I haven't done much to pick up after him. If you can flap your gums, you can move your gams. Now get on back to your training. Sorry. As for you, I know just the thing. One of my chocobos ran off when we put her out to pasture. Need you to find her. Bring her back. I think I already did. You're asking me? Her name is Selena. Ain't your normal chocobo neither. Loves the ocean more than home. The way she makes rolling waves look like solid ground. No wonder she thinks she's the bee's knees. Please, Cloud, would you mind? Just think of it as a favor for me. You've got a gift for wrangling the wild ones. A bird that runs on water? I already found him. There you are, Selena! Yeah. Well, I underestimated you. Takes real skill to tame this girl. Skills like those of... Hold on. I know this. I do. Why can't I remember? God oh, damn it! This is gonna bother me all day! Oh. Oh. Aha! There we go! It was Sam and Will! What? They were far and away my best disciples. 
As I was saying, you, Cloud, you may well become as talented a trainer as them one day. <laughs> Did I hear you right? Sam, you gotta tell me everything you know about him. You're gonna <laughs> give me whiplash, son. <sighs> the Sam guy you taught. You mean Chocobo Sam out of Midgar? I do, but why do you want to know? Because me and him, we got history. You see, I'm Will's son. Well, don't that beat all. I'll never forget those two. They had such a powerful passion, and an eagerness to learn, too. Everything they did was for the birds. That's not the Sam I know. Sam's a demon. He led my parents to an early grave. Got them hooked on gambling. Pushed them to rack up tons of debt. And then... Eh, that don't sound like him to me. You sure you ain't got your Sams mixed up? It's a common name, you know. Only one Sam in this business. I swore that I'd humiliate him by winning the Gold Cup. Destroy his reputation. Then I'd at least have some kind of revenge for what that bastard did to my parents. Hmm. Now that that's out of your system, back to it. Excuse me? You heard me. Thought you came out here to learn about chocobos, not to get revenge. Uh, Cloud. Call your name. For your next task, I'll need you to take Selena and gather choco grass. Which been so happens to grow above bodies of water. You kidding me? This fossil's trying to get us to do his dirty work again? <laughs> this dude is crazy, yeah. Choco grass is a genuine panacea. I kid you not. It'll cure whatever ails you, and then some. And once I am cured, maybe I'll be inclined to share more stories about the good old days. <sighs> He's obviously full of it. If not for him, then please do it for me. I need to know what happened to my dad. <sighs> I already okay. been doing it, though. When I said it grows above water, I meant above. It's called the floating flower because it grows in the air. But with an ocean chocobo, you can harvest the stuff with ease. 30 tufts ought to do. Best I might have that. Cloud. You don't want my death on your hands, do you? <laughs> this dude is crazy. I think I've already got that many because I've been doing that. I was doing that off camera as soon as I got the bird. Let's see. I might have enough. Oh, yeah, I you do. Get your hands on that choco grass. Yeah, I got 30. Well, well, if it ain't my beloved choco grass, this stuff can be one hell of a hassle to gather. Thank goodness I had you to get it for me. Okay, so what are you gonna do with it? <laughs> I suppose you've earned the right to know. First, I take this fluff, mix it with some chocobo feathers, and let it ferment. Once it's dry, I boil it all down. Then I squeeze it all out and voila, my patented choco tincture. That's some kind of magic medicine? Oh no, just a little fun. This wrinkly, Damn. cheeky old... <laughs> Speaking of grass, if you've got some extra tufts on hand, would you mind sharing them with my assistant at the shop? I promise I'll make it worth your while. Please, he tell getting, me about my father. He getting high off that Walter shit. Walter Chocobo's son. There's still one thing you need to do for me first. What a surprise. This geezer isn't gonna tell you Jack. Face it, kid. You got a lot of nerve. Casting aspersions. After all the wisdom I've shared. All the what now? So you haven't realized you've been training this whole time? Tracking down Selena forced you to get in touch with a chocobo's feelings. And all that running across the water you did helped hone your sense of balance and your bird handling. Key skills for any aspiring jockey. What do you say, Cloud? Bet you feel like a real choco pro by now. Can't say I do. Sounds to me like you need more training. 
Reckon we ought to add one more item to your regimen. Think of it as a final trial of sorts. Oh, give me a break. Don't go changing the subject here, Gramps. We're not doing your stupid trial. No, it's fine. I'll do it. Then it's settled. I'll be your opponent. And dear Selena will be your steed. If Cloud wins, does that mean you'll finally tell me about my dad? You've got a deal. But know that I won't be pulling any punches out there. When you're ready, give me a holler and we can hit the track. So I gotta beat him in a race? I'm definitely gonna smoke his ass. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's do this right now. Why not? You prepared to undertake the final trial? Let's go. Alright, now who we gonna go with though? This is gonna be the question. Who we gonna go with? Cause we need to go with the race chocobo, right? We want the best. I don't even know what we need with her. I don't know if we need speed. We got speed, weight, cornering, strength. I mean, speed is always good. Speed is always a plus. Damn, look at that. You could really be so zooming with this. They got weight really high too. Is that, is that bad though? Or is that good? Like less weight or... Should we just go full speed build? I might just go full speed build, y'all. Look at look at the speed on that. This is a good one that brings up everything else too. Let's let's go with that. Let's go with that. Let's go with that. That outfit I got on it right now, I got from the uh Cosmo Canyon region. I forgot how to race. I gotta hold X right on two. Three, two, yeah, there we go. And then R1, R2 is drifting. All right, this old man is quick, I'm not gonna lie. Sorry, I'm on your ass, I'm on your ass. Yep. That was a good boost. That was a good boost. Damn, he got two on me. Yeah, I'm zooming. I'm zooming. I'm zooming. And I'm hitting my dash on him. Damn, how he right back on me, though? Shit. I just messed up. I might have lost the race just now. How many laps is it? Three? We might could catch back up. I gotta use my boost though. Damn, I should have drifted around that corner too. I got him here, I got him here, I got him here. Last lap. This shit. And we got two dashes. I think we got him. Gotta make sure I hit these drifts right. Alright, that was kinda lame. That one was alright. Back on me though. Oh shit. I gotta hit both them dashes. Give me both them dashes and a choco jump. Alright, we just made it. Good shit, good shit. I got the choco the choco bow armband. What my ever loving feathers. That was one hell of a performance. If I didn't know better, I'd say this wasn't your first rodeo. It ain't. Surprise. Well, shoot, you got me good. And once you start tearing up the track out there, the racing world will blame me for letting you loose. A promise is a promise, sir. Please tell me more about my dad and Uncle Sam. Hmm. All right, then. What do you want to know? 
Uh, let's go with when were they here? Let's see. They couldn't have been much older than you are now. The two of them came and asked me to take them under my wing. Turned them down, seeing as I'd already retired. But they hung around the grounds anyway. Since they had nothing better to do, I put them to work. And that's how it all began. Well, wasn't nothing out of the ordinary, I'd say. Ran some errands, did some repairs, helped around the house. You know, your standard training regimen. And in their downtime, they took it upon themselves to dig through my library, learning about chocobos and how to handle them. Came to differing conclusions. They used to argue something fierce. I can't say the two of them got on terribly well. I figured. Will and Sam had mighty strong opinions about how to best raise chocobos, and it drove them to fight with their words and with their fists. That said, the only reason those two fought as hard as they did is because they both cared deeply about the cause. As far as passion is concerned, the two of them were birds of a feather. All right. Hmm. How you feel now? Managed to sort out the mess inside? Uh, uh, what do you mean? When we first met, I saw the way your eyes were brimming with anger. I knew right then and there that what you needed wasn't teaching or training. What you needed was time. Time to look deep inside yourself and clear out all the wickedness and spite that have been haunting your heart. Which is Damn. why you had him clean out the pool? Exactly. I don't know what happened to your father after he left this place. And I can understand why you'd want to beat old Sam in a race. Few things feel better than sticking it to someone who did you wrong. But that being said, you should never use your birds as tools for revenge. Ask yourself, why did I decide to start raising chocobos? I guess... I guess it's because I saw how happy those birds made my mom and dad. How they'd smile. The chocobos brought us a lot of fun, and brought us together as a family. I guess that's why. Good enough. The why is important, so don't forget yours. I reckon Sam's got his eyes on the gold cup. Keep yours unclouded by hatred, and you'll do fine. Thank you, sir. Thanks for everything. I'm gonna head back to the saucer. Make sure our birds are ready for the big race. Don't worry about putting your name in. I'll take care of it. All you need to do is show up and win. Alright, that's what's up. I wasn't... I honestly wasn't expecting it to be that deep, but like, he definitely is wiser than what we... Oh wait, we got a closet? Yo, we're going to be able to change clothes in this region, too? I hope so. I love that aspect of the game. But, um, what was I about to say? Oh, it was dope that he was actually wise. Like a dope old wise man. Now, the clothes thing is kind of crazy because this was in Costa del Sol, and then we could switch clothes. Don't look like we could use it yet, though. You got any choco grass for me? Let's see how Thanks. much he... If damn, you me 35 tubs? Now, how about plumes? 40 tufts? 45 tufts? Damn, I collected a lot of that stuff. All right, I got to get one more, though. Well, I got to get five. Oh, no, two more. Two more. So I deliver 48. I just need two more. And then I, I know get the, the sage is a bit of a handful, prize. But stick with it, okay? Look at this detail. I promise. Look at all this detail, y'all. This shit is crazy. I want to change my Chocobo's outfit, though. I don't know what I'm going to put on him, though. He's blue or she. She's blue. She's blue. So I don't know. The Shinra stuff is terrible. I never put this stuff on my chocobos. I mean, it's all right. It was cool when we didn't have nothing else. But what do I want? Oh, I got these. This is what's for this region. I don't know about this. This look kind of kind of crazy. This is for this region, though. So it's like a dragon type armor. I don't know. It's alright. It's alright. I could just paint this. Couldn't I? Yeah, I could change the color of this. And make it blue. 
The whole changing color thing is so dope. They really killed it with that. If I make this baby blue. Do like a baby blue. Uh, should I go darker though? Maybe I should go darker baby blue. And then do the center black. That actually matches kind of nice. I don't know if I like that fit though. I mean, it's kind of aggressive. I like the little tropical light and airy type fits. This is a nice place though. I love the brick with the plants. That's a good look. Got a material up here. What kind of material y'all got? Laying around, level boost. That's a good one. I tried Aerith again, but I had to go back to Barrett, man, because I don't know. I was looking at Aerith. Let me move this screen out the way. I was looking at Aerith and what made me want to try her again was just the fact that Barrett is kind of weak. Like you see here, we got Cloud at 355, 281. We got Tiffa at 370, 239, which is crazy. Tiffa is like smoking shit. And then we got Barrett, he's still at 273 and 223. Like we in a high and mid 300s and he's still in the high twos. Arif, I mean, Red is in the threes for attack. Arif is in the 400s for magic though. But she's so weak, like in battle, she get hit a few times and then she dead because her health is only 3,500. And like, I don't see a whole lot of benefit to Arif on normal battles where Barrett got like a lot of aggressive attacks, but he weak as shit compared to Arif. Like you see, Arif is 401 for magic. But see, Barrett's health is 7400. And that that means a lot. I'm not gonna lie, that means a whole lot. And then we got our swords, all of this. Like we already did all of this. I don't think I need to do this no more, but hopefully we get something new. I'm kind of tired of looking at this. I always switch between this and the other sword just because like, why not? They make it really easy. All right, let's get out of here. Matter of fact, Chadley, you got something for me? Oh, Cloud. As soon as I heard the legendary, we jump I was into the... Even hermits enjoy a dip in the pool. What you got? What you got? You got Comet material? Ooh, Comet is kind of nice. I got 170 already. MP absorption. That's convenient because you get your magic back. Dark side materia increase ability increase ability potency by seven percent and suffer five percent damage. Now why in the hell would I want to do that? ATB assist slightly fills teammates ATB gauges when ATB commands use back to back. Hmm, that's not bad. I kind of want to try this comet one though. I've never seen comet before. And then do you got any new battles? I think we might actually. Odin. I think we, yeah, we get Odin. Cause I collected a few of these last night, the little, um, oh, we got some new battles too. Hold up y'all. Let's get, let's get these done before we jump into, um, the, the main story. You know, they're going to be easy. Lightweight, lightweight. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. I don't know. They don't look easy. They look like dragons. They are, though. They look intimidating, but they not. Maximum Fury, that Barret. Star Shower. Triple Slash. Yeah, that ain't nothing. That ain't nothing. I hate these damn flying enemies. We got it though. 
Uh, let's go with Baird on this one. Matter of fact, I actually put. What did I do? I put one of them attacks. I don't remember if it was thunder or fire, but I put where it would attack multiple targets, but I don't think that's on there. Cause that's only attacking one person, so I don't think I put it on. It's over for y'all. It's over for y'all real quick. Once I get to slashing, you're done for. Was never in doubt. Yeah, we fighting them again. Go in, go in, go in. I'm just going there with triple slash. I ain't even tripping on their weakness. Oh no, you know what I did? I remember what I did. I didn't put the element to make it multiple targets. I put double elemental on my sword. So my sword should be fire, ice, wind, and lightning. I can't tell. I'm trying to look at the sword and see if it actually is all the elements. I see fire and ice for sure. I don't see wind and lightning on it though. I might not even be able to do that. This dude getting his ass beat though. With just manual attacks. Hit that star shower. You ain't even got no chance to attack me, bruh. These little shots you doing ain't doing nothing. Yep. Nah, so I put double elements on my sword, and I don't know if that actually worked, because I didn't see lightning or wind on that sword at all. I saw fire and ice, but I didn't see lightning and wind at all, which means I could be wasting them two slots. Let me go out real quick cuz I didn't see it. Are my trial was not challenging enough? I hope you Let's see. Y'all can see what I did cuz basically, yeah, see what I did here? I did element fire and ice and I did element lightning and wind. It don't say you can't use two though, but it didn't look like that worked at all. I'll leave fire and ice on him, but then I'm I'm going to take these off because what's the point? Of I'm gonna put comment on there. Matter of fact, let's put comment on there because that's that new one. I'll do com. Oh, you know what though? I'm thinking I could do the um the magnify. Magnify hits all the targets, which is beneficial. It's minus 45% when it's expanded though, so it's a little weaker. But it would magnify my electric and my wind. Hmm. Then we got enemy skill. We got. I haven't used this defense at all. I probably should take this shit off. Defense and block. Because I don't even use it. I hate that because I should use it. It's very beneficial when you do use it, but I just don't. I don't even be thinking about it. Let's throw that comet on him, and then let's throw that. What else we got? What else we got? This gonna benefit me heavy. I'm thinking maybe a purple joint. Oh, you know what? The item one. Throw that item one on him. Because sometimes we be in the battle and we need to heal up. And we need that item economizer. Economizer. <laughs> I don't even know how you say it. All right. Come here, Chadley. Stop chatting, Chadley. I know you must be busy, but I'd appreciate your help. 
Cloud. I'm, Owen, yeah. the noble, I encourage you to pit your skill. I know, I, I know. Oh my God. Ongoing hunt for world Bro, intel. will you please stop talking? Your efforts have you. Perhaps you would like to use it to develop materia. Perhaps you'd like to shut the hell up for just five seconds. You know what I'm saying? Just let me click the menu, bro. It's all good. I rock with Chadley, but he just be talking too much. All right, let's go in here. Boom, boom, boom. Bam. Let's go. I'm going to see. Matter of fact, let's see if that worked. That was thunder, right? Yeah. Does it work? I think it did work. I think it hit electric on everybody just now. They just not weak to it. They about to be dead in a second. I hate these damn jellyfish so bad. Matter of fact, let's use thunder on them right away. Oh yeah, it does work on both of them. That's dope. What I hate about these jellyfish is they just keep disappearing. As soon as you get ready to hit them, they just keep disappearing. Get his ass out of here for sure. Let's try that lightning. See how it feel. Oh yeah, that's dope. It only hits three though, a max of three. It didn't hit all four. I mean, I probably won't even use that that often. Cause I'm usually doing more sword work than magic. Mostly on multiple targets. Yep. You done, bro. Might as well give it up. Oh, you tried to fight back a little bit. I can respect it. Didn't work though. See, I've been grinding, man. I've been grinding this damn these battles and shit off camera. So I don't think nobody gonna really be able to handle me for real. What is this VIT and SPR materia? Vitality and spirit, maybe? Get a new summon. He's electricity, right? Okay, alright, alright. You starting out good, Omen. Odin. Let's try this comet. Let's see what that do. Damn, that shit took forever to put out. He didn't even get it off. All right, let's just go in, y'all. Let's go in. Barrett, come on. Get your shit built up. Tiffa go in with Star Shower. Cloud going in with Triple Slash. All right, he breaking my attacks with his, with his horse. Uh, Barrett, go ahead and use focus shot. We need to get him staggered immediately. Because he's doing too much with this horse. He's breaking my attacks, too. Good shit, Tifa. Good shit. Good shit. Staggering. Damn, he's breaking all my attacks. Alright, bro. What did I say? Lord of the Blade. Alright, back up, back up, back up, back up. We got Baird healing us up though too. So I don't have to worry too much about that. Damn, he whooping my ass with this sword though. I can't even get my hits off on him. Okay, alright, alright, alright. That's fine, that's fine. I might need to assess him. Let's assess him real quick. I need to see. Damn. He gonna be nice to have as a as a summon though. Oh wait. Who got assess? Barrett? I forgot Barrett got assess. Let's see what's up with Odin. What is Odin weak to? Landing ATB companions, invading attacks, or inflicting detrimental status effects. 
will put Odin on the back foot, both trilling, thrilling and pressuring him. Damn. He got like a, it looked like he got an attack that could wipe us out at the end. So I need to evade his attacks and inflict detrimental status effects. I don't even think I had that kind of shit installed on my people though. Oh, is this his main attack? Are we about to die, chat? <laughs> is this it, chat? Damn. If I didn't have that thing to keep me from dying, I would have just died for sure. All right, we need to heal up and I don't have nothing to heal me up. This is not good. I mean, this is nice, but it ain't gonna do enough. And I can't use no items. Okay, all right, we gotta, we gotta go about that smarter, man. We gotta go about that way smarter. Odin ain't no bitch. Odin is not no bitch. Same, same group, Cloud Bear Tiffa. Cloud Bear Tiffa, do I wanna go with Cloud Aerith Tiffa though? Mm, let's go with the same crew, same crew. Same crew, same crew. All right, I'm gonna play a little smarter though, a little smarter. A little smarter. He be whooping my ass though. Maybe I should rock with Barrett for a minute. I need to use that bonus round so he getting more shots in to stagger him too. Try to get his stagger up. Damn. Let's use that focus shot. This is not doing much, but I'm trying to get his bar up, his stagger bar. He ain't no joke though. The fact that he can hit us so many times. Damn, he moved out the way. Damn. All right, Odin, chill out, chill out with that damn sword, bruh. Chill out with that sword. Switch back to Cloud. Let Tiffa build that bar up. Damn, he about to kill us. Odin is strong as shit. Cloud got one HP. And I can't use nothing to heal him up. It's a wrap, bruh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know about old man. We might have to come back to old because he's he I was talking shit, but he kicking my ass. I ain't gonna lie. Odin is whooping my ass. I would like to get him as a summon though, but I mean it could wait a minute. You could definitely wait a minute. You made short work of that simulation. Needless to say, many hazards. I didn't make short work of Odin though. Odin was you on the road. putting it so on me. Care. I ain't gonna lie. All right, let's see. Let's go actually do the main quest in Nibelheim because I mean, pretty much that's all we got left. Wait, wait, that's not all we got left, but that's all. I guess I could go down here to the Moogle spot. Yeah, let me get my chocobo. Let's see what his new armor looking like. Where he at? Where he at? He should look like a little dragon. You know what? I kind of like this armor. It do make it feel like he a dragon. All right, let's fly. I want to go to the Moogle spot. Am 
I going the right way? Yeah. Them little Moogle games, man, they had me running around like one of them I took like so long to get done. It was like a half an hour it took me to get that done. I failed so many times. I had to put it on easy mode, and as soon as I put it on easy mode, I did it perfect. I didn't even need to put it on easy mode. Because easy mode just give you more lives. Which hopefully we don't have to use, but you never know. <laughs> Who wants to play with the moogles? We're gonna play with some moogles, Barrett. Hopefully they got some good stuff that's worth it, because you know they're gonna be a pain in the ass. They've been making this stuff harder and harder each time. Let's see. Which one we going on, man? Easy or normal? I got to show out for y'all, so I'm doing normal. I can't get hit, hit more than three times. Or is it two times? They say two times, but I think it's three times. But three times Would you're you out. Rounding up all the mooglets for me? Yeah, 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 yeah. We got three minutes. Miss just level is seven. All right, so now let's just get an idea where everybody is. And they didn't build an entire fence system around this tree. All right, keep going, keep on going, keep on going. How hey, you go this way? Chill out, chill out. All right, good. We got one. We got a pretty small time limit too. How do I even get over to where they at? I had to come this way. Let's try to get this dude out because he always whooping my ass with these green things. Yeah, come on. Come on, Mo Mosh. Mosh. Oh, shit. He went the other way. That's not the way I want you to go. Go in that tornado. Don't go out there. Don't go out there. We only got a, a minute and 55 seconds, y'all. Man, get your dumb ass back on land. Where's he even at? I don't know how he ended up way back over here, but I ain't mad at it. He almost in the house. Shit, 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 shit. Come on, bruh. Come on, bruh. You got it, you got it, you got it. All right, there's two. We got a minute and a half. Away. Minute and a half, man. All right, we all right so far, we all right. This time limit got me a little nervous, though. I ain't gonna lie. Whoosh! Time limit got me a little nervous. I keep running him into the wall. This time limit is kind of crazy. There's no way I'm doing all of this in, in 50 seconds. I could get maybe four of them in 50 seconds, but. Shit, shit, shit. Get your dumb ass in there, bruh. There you go. 25 seconds. Where's the other one? I don't think it's gonna happen, but I mean, you never know. You never know. Shit, I didn't even see that banana peel. And I missed the. Did I miss it or can I grab him? Grab him, grab him, grab him. We only got four seconds, man. Damn, it was on. I was so close. That was so close. You're giving up, Koopo? <sighs> no, I'm not giving up, Koopo. Let me do that shit again. I got it, though. I got it. I got it. I ain't too worried about it. All right, let's get the farthest one first. I'm playing with the time right now. Never mind. Let's just get who we can get. Let's get Malola. Malola's close, so damn Malola. That's all right. Come here. I could pretty much throw her in the treehouse. All right, good shit. Malola's gone. 
let's try to get Moki. I gotta watch out for Moki's banana peels. All right, cool, cool, cool. Ooh, I almost ran into that one. Come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. We could at least bring Moki over here. You gonna pop loose, but it's all right. At least you're in the right line of the sight. We got these green things flying at us like crazy right now. Okay, good shit, good shit, good shit. Let's get, yeah, let's get Mosh up out of here. Cause Mosh is a pain in the ass. He really is. Damn, 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 damn. Come on, Mosh. Damn, that's it. All right, that's all right, that's all right, that's all right. That's all right. That's all right, that's all right. That's why I should probably put it on four hits. Cause three is you're done. Can I bounce on this? Yeah, let me get over here. I'm gonna try and get Moki first. Moki ain't that hard to get, but he's far away. Let's grab Moki. Moki can still get his get his got these green things coming at us kind of crazy right now. Damn, I didn't even get him because this stupid fuck right here. <laughs> Mosh is so annoying, yo. I'm not doing good on this one. <laughs> Let's restart. Let's retry. Thinking maybe I should get Mosh out of here first. Cause he's the most aggressive with his attacks. Alright, let's get Mosh out of here. Then let's go with Malola. Let's get Malola out of here. Grab her ass. And then we gonna go. What we gonna go now? Malulu? Yeah, let's go with Malulu. With the bombs. Malulu and Mog. Alright, I got one pretty pretty close to the house. Let's just go with this one. It's Malulu. On in the house, Malulu. Good shit, good shit, good shit. We got two minutes left. It's not bad. Bro, you gotta get, you gotta go that way. Yeah, that way. Good shit, good shit. Go in the house. Good shit, good shit, good shit. Now we got one more. We ain't got no hit so far, which is great. Shit, get him in the tornado. Whew, he just hit me long range. Or oh, I slipped on the banana. What happened? What the hell was that? Where is he even going? You know what? We got a minute left. I don't have time to play with you, Moki. Mother. I better not lose this shit at the very end, I swear. Come on, Moki. Go across the water. Yeah, go across the water. That's a shorter distance, actually. We close, y'all. We close. I think we got it. I think we got it. Yeah, good shit. Got two hits. That's one of the hardest mini games. You're a true hero. Every single 
Emporium is once again open for business, Koopo. It was Mog and Mag's hope that these special shops would bring happiness to folks all over oh, the world, one? Koopo. And that dream lived on, passed down to their children and their children's children, and so on, for countless generations. One day, these Mooglets will inherit that legacy, like those before them. Oh, before I forget, I have a super duper amazing present for you to thank you for all your help. You're gonna love it. What the hell? Kupo? Kupo! You turned me into a little mogul? <laughs> That's crazy. Kupo. Go on now, be good hosts, and show our guests how it's done. Where are they taking me? <laughs> what are we doing here? Oh, he got a we gotta fly. Oh shit, he ain't gonna make it, is he? Oh, there you go. Koopa. That's dope. Koopa Paul. <laughs> That's crazy as hell, yeah. I would have never imagined Cloud would turn into one of them. That's dope. So what did you think? Not bad. Koopo. <laughs> that was a cool little aspect to the game. And I got a stuffed mogul. Moogle. That's for Johnny's spot. Now that we've been reunited, the Mooglets and I will continue our efforts to spread joy all over the world. Also, we found a bunch of rare and exotic items you won't want to miss out on. Come see for yourself, Koopo. Yeah, I need to see that. What y'all got? Koopo! What rare and exotic items do you Anything have? Anything interesting? Catch your eye, Koopo. Let's see. You got a ether, elixir, ruby, sapphire, level boost. I already got a lot of this stuff. Earrings, mooglet, amulet. Increases probability enemies will drop items. That's cool. Sharpshooter. That's for Barrett, Ninja, Yuffie. I'm probably going to buy both of them. Damn, that's all y'all got? I don't know. We should have all rare and exotic items. I don't see shit in here that's rare and exotic. I guess maybe the, the stones, but I got so many of them stones built up. At least I can come in there and buy them if I need them, but I, I can honestly say that really wasn't worth my time, but it's cool. It's cool. It's part of the game, and you know what I'm saying? We got to do that. Plus, we got the little Mooglet thing, which will be in Johnny's shop. Did y'all see Johnny's shop? I forgot if I finished that off camera. I think I might have did that off camera. Johnny's um, hotel actually got updated, and he got a whole little spot where you can show off all of your little key items that we've collected like the shinra dude cut out and like the little stuffed animals oh let me get this question mark i've skipped over it twice so far yeah let me get this little thing see what see what you got in here hopefully it's some exotic materials yeah chromonite or i don't even want money no more because we got so much though Okay, next thing on the list is definitely Nibelheim. I could get two more tufts of that. Y'all think I can find two more tufts? Are that grass? I don't know. Let's see if we can find two more tufts of it real quick. 
Cause that's all we needed. Damn, look at this place. Little dock town. Let's see, did we see any tufts in the sky? I don't really see nothing no more. I see some treasure over here though. Got two. Definitely grab these. Good shit, good shit. I was trying to see if I could see any more. I cannot believe how big this game is though. I can't go no further that way. That's cool, that's cool. Look at that. That's a nice little town right there. A little village. Don't look like they have nothing though. Just for show, but still nice. Nebel port. I didn't even see any more tufts of grass. Now that's weird though, because I think I pretty much covered. Is that done already down there? Yeah. I thought I pretty much covered all the spots. It's full of water. It's so nice to get around like this in here instead of having to uh, play in the terrain. It's just such a, I don't know, it's more of a vibe for real. It's like flying a plane. I have two of these missing though. So I gotta try to figure out where they are. That way I can get that, what was it, an amlet, an armlet? They could be anywhere though. I'm pretty sure I got all the ones down here though. But we gonna have to look and see. Matter of fact, when did another, yeah, it was another battle down here too. Let's knock that out while we down here. Cause I like to do some of the side quests with y'all too. Not everything need to be done off camera. I just be playing though. So it's like shit just happens. I was thinking, you know, I was always talking about like Dreamlight Valley and Sims and like Animal Crossing and all of them. But like if they took everything that was in this game and just added like a little bit of relationship and farming to it, this would literally be like the ultimate game, like the ultimate cozy type game is what they call it. Cause I mean, this game has everything, man. Story, um, just, I mean, I can't even think of everything, but it's got everything. Mini games, storyline, fighting, all type of shit. It's got everything you would possibly want in a game. All you need to do is add a little bit of like relationship stuff to it. Like maybe the next Final Fantasy might compete with all the cozy games. Imagine that shit. All right, this is our new fighting thing. Let's hop off the chocobo. Be warned, Cloud. You have entered the King Zeus domain. Oh, this King is Zeus. A highly dangerous feat. Proceed with extreme caution. Yeah, them Zeus is no bullshit. They was whooping my ass from the beginning of the game. And this is the King Zoo. I think we got it though. I think we got it. I might have to slide in with uh with Barrett for some long range though. Yeah, this fool look crazy. Eh, not if I got it. Not if I get this triple slice. Yeah, I'm on. I'm on his ass now. All right, that was a good shot. Good shot. Swan song. Hit that, hit that star shower on him. Take that overcharge. And then heal up. Heal up Cloud. I don't know what he's doing, but I'm trying to get at him. I look like I'm supposed to target 
Oh, shit. I think what I was supposed to do was target his wing. All right, we can come back from this. It's kind of crazy, but we can come back from this. All right, good shit, good shit. Cloud, go ahead and... Uh... Damn, I can't use another item? I thought I had the item thing on. Shit, I'm in his little circle of fire. Yeah, this dude ain't no bullshit. We got him, though. We got him. We got him. We got him. He's just doing a bunch of extra shit right now. Here we go. Let's use that backline command. And use that firework blade. Raised up the, the limits. Eric. <laughs> Don't give up now, you guys. Uh, yeah. for you. Good shit, good shit. Alright, that's cool, that's cool. We can bring back Tifa and Bear if Barrett. I think I'm gonna bring back Barrett first. Be careful. Cause he can hit that long range. He doing that same shit. Swan song. So we gotta get these wings out of here. Damn. Some hero you turned out to be. Alright, King Zoo is King Zoo is crazy. Let's go with that again. We're doing that again. So when he do that swan song, we gotta lock on to them wings and get them wings out of there. That's the only way. We probably need to heal up too. Barrett ain't even got no MP right now. You know what? How the map looking? Do we got any rest stops? We ain't got no rest stops over here. It is one right there though. Let me go over there and heal up real quick. Cause I don't want to go into this fight half dead already. Yeah, let's just chill here for a second. Damn, look at them enemies over there walking around like that. That look crazy as hell. Imagine seeing that shit. You go <laughs> you go to an island and you see them walking around. Alright, let's fly back over here and get this fight going. y'all ready matter of fact let's throw on the good sword come on let me go on the menu let me throw on the good sword don't play with the buster sword right now because we're gonna need every little bit of power we got let's get that good sword out let's go I didn't even assess this dude. I probably should do that. Even though I'm pretty sure how you do it. You just gotta You gotta hit him when he's doing that swan song. Yeah, swan song. Single attack. Deal lethal damage, destroying his wings in the middle. We'll pressure it. Yeah, that's what I figured. Weakness is electric though. You can definitely hit him with some thunder. Let's hit him with some thunder. Not really doing that much though. All right, Swan Song. Get on that right wing. Come on, bro. Okay, good shit, good shit. Got the right wing. Get on that left wing. Good shit. Pressure him, pressure him. Tiffle, use your uh, use your dive kick. There, you gonna get some maximum fury. All right, going back with song storm. Got that light, left wing out. Get that right wing. Get that right wing. Good shit. Good shit. Got that right wing. Just tagging his shit right now. 
triple slash again. If he used that swan again, his ass is dead. I'm just staying up in the air with him right now. He gone. Yep. Alright, that wasn't too bad. Excellent work dethroning the King Zoo. Attempting to prey upon you proved his undoing. And without that wing terror flying around, the skies are clear once more. Those robed folks must be breathing a collective sigh of relief. Yeah, he was he was tough. I ain't gonna say he wasn't tough. But once you got that shit down with the swan thing, it was pretty easy. Let's go collect these boxes I see. Got any treasures up in here? Nah, ain't no treasures. Got a mega potion though. Most of them don't even come in handy no more because my HP is so high. But I mean, you never know in a pinch. Okay, so we got that done. Oh, I'm still looking for that tougher grass. That's what I was looking for. I need some chocobo tufts. Need some chocobo tufts, you know, son. Remind me of my uh friend in school. His last name was Tufts. Shay Tufts, you know what I'm saying? Yo, you know that was the dude I fought. We was cool as soon as we got through fighting. It was like, I think in the sixth grade, I think, or seventh grade. And we was doing something, he kept pushing his desk on me, so we ended up, we ended up throwing down and shit. And then as soon as we was done, we was like best friends and shit after that. Sometimes you just gotta fight people, you know what I'm saying? Get the, you gotta earn your respect or you gotta earn their respect and then y'all be tight after that shit. It be the ones that don't fight you, that wanna fight you is the problem. Cause they, they be the ones that hold grudges forever. But usually when you fight a friend or you fight somebody and y'all become friends after, it's some of the best friendships because y'all like, I don't know, it's like y'all respect each other on a different level. But y'all know me. <laughs> I, I I'm real nice, but just don't push it, yo. You push it, then the, then the gorilla come out. But on the normal type shit, I'm just chilling. And that day, he just kept pushing me, yo. He kept pushing his desk on me and shit behind me. It was like, bro, stop. And then he just kept doing it. And I got up and shit just got crazy. But then we was laughing and shit in the office when we was getting in trouble. I think they suspended us for like two days or three days or something. But uh, yeah, man, he cool though. He's still cool to this day. No. All right, we back in Nibelheimen. It looks exactly the same. How did this place burn down and it looks exactly the same? Let's get some storyline. Cause Wait, how is that possible? What? I thought. These graphics is popping in like crazy right now. Cloud, look at this. It's it's brand new. They rebuilt the whole village. Don't scare me like that. Thought Cloud might have lost it again. <clears throat> I mean, I thought he got us lost, and cause it looks different. So he did who lose do you it. Think we built it. Shinra. Never mind all that. We've got a terminal to find. I forgot that's what we was doing.
That's crazy as hell though. They rebuilt this entire place to look exactly the same and run down like, like shit never happened. That's crazy. I hear they're planning on building a new facility. One step at a time. Travelers, huh? So those. One step for us this time. They even built the water tower exactly the same. Something ain't adding up. Well, shit. A lot of ropes out here. Yeah. And look, locals. Why do y'all looking funny at us, though? Only they aren't quite the same, are they? Hello there. Can I help you? Greetings, good sir. I am a proud employee of Shinra Resorts. And since I was nearby, I thought I might pop in and check something on the company database. And your companions? Oh, them? They are... I used to live here until... you know. I see. And are you aware of what Nibelheim is now? Nope. No idea. Uh, Are they clones? Five years ago, Shinra assumed direct control over this village. It now serves as a treatment center for Mako poisoning. Oh. All property rights have been transferred. If that's why you're here, contact Special Facilities at Corporate. They'll be able to help you. Very helpful. Thank you, sir. Ah, but the database. I'll not be a wee minute. Uh, uh, uh. Huh. I'm sure you're eager to see your hometown, but please don't stay too long. Damn. Why? Y'all ain't doing shit no way. Y'all sitting around doing nothing. Y'all don't even want me up in this joint. See, I'm Cloud's inner monologue. Did y'all know that? I'm Cloud's inner monologue. Cloud, like, man, this bullshit. Why I gotta sit and wait on this dumbass cat, man? Like, <laughs> uh, uh, you know. alright, let's go talk to all the people. What's up, Aerith? Question This always been here? Yeah. It totally screams, climb me, doesn't it? So, let's give the poor thing what it wants and see the sights. Uh, hey, don't just. I don't know about this, Aerith. Tiff ain't gonna be too happy about this shit. I ain't gonna lie. It's me and Tiffa spot. I'm getting a lot of graphic pop in. To Tiff look at this place, <laughs> you never know. Tiff ain't gonna like this shit. Yeah. Damn, y'all sitting on the edge too? So. Which one's your house? That one. Oh, looks cozy. Damn. That shit gotta be weird, though. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said that. No, don't worry about it. It's all new to you. That building right there is the inn, where I stayed five years ago. Like, imagine shit burning down. You got the town hall. And then it's like exactly the same again. The general store. And that there? Tifa's house. Oh, shit. Oh, she ain't mad. They just chilling. So let me guess. This is where you kept lookout. Huh? Come on, you never came up here hoping she'd wave. 
Nah, Cloud ain't do that. No way, that's not funny. Sounds like yeah, no, no way, no way. What? No way. I, I never do that. That's crazy. You can notice the veins in his arm. I just peeped that. I'm gonna head down. Think I'm good where I am. I'll see you later. All right, Eric. It's a cool little spot, though. Let me uh, let me switch my sword back. It just feels better with the Buster Sword. I'm not gonna lie. Feels more like home. Now, I'm not sure, like, with the relationship thing, because we're both, like, she's blue and she's blue. Does that mean I could pick between either one of them with the date we're going to have? Or, oh, we got another Queen's Blood person, too. Let me go talk to Tiffa real fast. You certainly don't look ill. Passing through, I take it. This is crazy. They turned her house into a medical center. It's gotta be strange as hell. You might have noticed that number tattoos on their arms. Oh, we got a piano in here too. We could maybe play you know, some. I never understood it. Why'd my dad go into the reactor? Why chase Sephiroth? Thought about it ever since waking up in Corel. It just seemed like such a bad idea. I mean, what did he think he was gonna do? Fight a famous war hero and win? Well, he didn't. But after moving to Midgar, after making a life for myself, I finally realized where my dad was coming from. He was angry. And he'd had enough. Everything he'd worked so hard for had been destroyed in an instant. All that he'd built for himself, for us, gone. Sephiroth had burned it to the ground. That's why he went, even though he had to have known how it'd end. I see. And like him, I took my pain, my grief, everything I was feeling. I took it all and turned it into anger. Anger that led me to avalanche. <laughs> the problem is, anger doesn't last. That's so true. when avalanche started to become more violent, there wasn't enough left to hold back the fear and the doubt. It was taking a toll. Then you turned up. Uh Have I helped you get through it at all? Yeah, you have. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have had the courage to come back here. A lot's happened, but now that we're here, I know this was the right decision. Because now I know they rebuilt everything, tried to sweep what they did under the rug and pretend it never even happened. They really but did. I won't let them. Sephiroth and his cruelty. Shinra and their lies. I'm sick of all of it. I mean, it is crazy that they just acted like this shit never happened. So with this piano, though. Can we mess with the piano or nah? We're going we gonna to try and get an A on that damn Chocobo song? That shit is so hard. I've tried off camera like three times. Three different days and I just could not get it. This one right here, I did get a B on it, but it's just like my brain cannot function with both of them sides. Damn, we got we got a a cape dude that want to play Queen's Blood. 
All right, let's do it. No, Dale. Leave. I can play Queen's Blood with you, if that's what you want, okay? I'm so sorry. This is Dale. He loves playing Queen's Blood more than anything else in the world. Actually, I don't suppose you would mind playing a match or two with him. Just real quick, I'm not the best player. So I think he's been looking for someone who'll give him more of a challenge. Yeah, I smoke Dale. For sure. All right, what cards I want to go with? Do I got anything new? I don't have. Oh yeah, I do got a few new ones. That's a pretty interesting card. This is two faced. That's a two. But see, I don't like them cards that only do two up and down and nothing forward. They don't benefit us that much. Reaper tail. That's kind of a nice card. Reaper tail. I might, I might do something with Reaper Tail. Yeah, let's um, let's use Reaper Tail and let's take out the Stone Golem, cause he's a that's a weak ass card. All right, let's go. Yeah, we good, we good. All right, let's go with the first one. Matter of fact, nah, let's not do that first. Let's go there first. Then we're gonna go with Arch Dragon, I think. Yeah, let's go with Arch Dragon. And then we'll use Flame Trooper at the end of it. Yep. We're going with Flame Trooper. Get them sold up. Now let's try this Reaper Tail. Reaper Tail right here. Move up on him. Damn, he kind of, he ain't really playing that good. I mean, I guess he is in rehab, but like, kind of playing shitty, bro. I just pretty much locked up the board. Wow. He did win that, though, which is kind of impressive. But I mean, I'm about to just walk all over this dumbass. Hold up. Mm. That'll boost that to a two. Ooh, if I play him there, that's gonna boost the middle cards. Yeah, let's boost the middle cards. Unless he got something to replace him, which he does. Go with the seven. All right, he doing a little replacing. All right, he playing, he playing. Let's make this a five. Yeah, let's make this a five. Then we'll bring Titan in. do Titan right here we still winning though oh yeah we won I could replace anything gonna help me not really I think I'll call it you went bad though Play raise position ranks by two. Hmm. Keep that card. Oh wow. Twenty and one. I don't think I've ever seen him this happy. It must have been a great match. Oh, uh, 
mean? Oh, witch. That's enough, Dale. He has other things to do, I'm sure. Thank you so much for taking the time to play with him. I want to get that card, though. They've been talking about. Congratulations, Cloud. You have attained the rank of Blood Tactician. Speaking of, I've received intel that Regina, the card game maven you met on the Shinra 8, is in Gungaga. A clash between two players of your caliber would surely be one for the ages. I can't wait to watch. Oh, yeah, we doing that. When they do the special opponents, they be super hard. I'm with it, though. Gotta get my picks, you know what I'm saying? Gotta get my little picks in. It turns out that Shinra's in charge of the treatment facilities here. Getting permission to take pictures was not easy. All my photos will be reviewed, and if Shinra sees something they don't like, it's theirs. Just gotta impress those suits with some nice shots. If you find a good photo spot, don't hesitate to let me know. So that's Mountain Evil. It cuts a rather stern... Damn. An imposing figure. It's kind of far away. Ridges jutting into the sky. Like something. What are they doing here? Why are we putting our hands up? What are we doing? <laughs> exercise? That must be for exercise. Looks like the reactor's not too far. Hey, Cloud. Ever been up there before? Yeah. Oh? Then give me the skinny. What was it like? Was there buttloads of Mako? What about, say, oh, materia? Nah. Come to think of it. Nope. Uh-huh. Nice try. But you can't fool me. I know what you're up to. You want it all for yourself. Good? Good? I feel so bad for these people. They all we do is... Fine. If you're that desperate to buy something. Ooh, what is these? A Garm bangle and a Varios bangle. Yo, this one might go crazy though. Garm bangle is two length and then an extra at 113. Two length and an extra at 113. Well, Celestial is way better. But two length. That'd be cool for Tiffa and Barrett for sure. Damn, I might have to grab them. You're home anymore. Okay, let's get two of these. Let's get two of these. I kind of want about three. Matter of fact, let's just get three. I mean, we got money. Let's just get three of them. Got a booster pack. I definitely buy that. Revival earrings. Everything else is sold out. We already it's got it, basically. Personal, now we need to see if. Damn, if I could, if I could actually upgrade that too. So here's the Garm Bangle. Garm Bangle is up to three, two, and we get an extra. That joint is hitting three, two, and we get an extra. And if I could upgrade this, I might actually use it. I've been trying to work to get this one. I almost got enough because this is actually, what is this, three length? Yeah, three length slots. Can I, ooh, you can upgrade it. Damn, I wonder what happened when you upgrade it. It just go up a little bit. Let's upgrade Tiffa's first. And up and then upgrade Barrett second. Yeah, that's about to go crazy. I'm trying to get this one though. The the yeg the yes drassel. <laughs> the gradrassel. I only need a little bit more ash wood and we can get that. You shouldn't come back. Damn y'all, y'all really hate me and Nibelheim, huh? I mean I get it, just my spot, but he ain't got a dog me every time I go somewhere. Oh shit, he's seeing Zach. Cloud got a little flashback going. 
Oh no, nah, this is when they're gonna start trying to make him feel like he never existed. They're gonna try and make Cloud feel like he never existed, y'all. It's about to get crazy. you want to see maybe a girlfriend speaking of which I'll bet you're dying to hear about mine am I right what not interested <laughs> I'm gonna tell you anyway she's real pretty no beautiful kind of depends on the angle <laughs> she's just great to be around she from Midgard yep Real city mouse. Zach. Zach Fair. Oh, he just remembered him. From Gungaga. Head over heels for Aerith. We fought together as soldiers. You were here with me. Five years ago. You came with me on the mission. Where are you? What happened to you? That's crazy. What's weird though is like they will start to pretend that Cloud never existed. I think it's gonna be Sephiroth to do it though. Like Sephiroth trying to mess with Cloud. What's up, Barrett? They're everywhere you look. You don't really think that all these guys decided to get up and shuffle over here of their own accord, do you? Hell no. Nah. Of course not. This is Shinra's doing. First, they raise a whole village because it suits them. Then they build a fake one right on top of it. We can't let those corporate bastards keep getting away with this shit. We gotta do something, right? Hell yeah, we gotta do something. Hell yeah, you're right. Screw them. That's the spirit. Screw them. We'll make them pay for what they did to y'all's home. Oh yeah, we gonna make them pay, Barry. Trust. They ain't gonna just dog us like that. So we checked out this spot, this spot. Mm, we went to Tiffa's crib. Oh, you know, I never realized they white out the houses that you haven't been in yet. Have they always done that on the map? I'm just trying to see because I don't think we can go in these houses. So that's Mount Nebel. Yeah, you can't. Stern and imposing figure. So we still got to go in my house and in the store over here. Let's go in his house first. Let's take a little break and try again. Well now, who might you be? Ah, uh, that's right. You're the ones Nick was talking about. New in town, aren't you? No. Uh, in that case, you ought to know better than to interrupt a busy chef, hmm? I can leave. No, no, I don't mind. Could use someone to talk to anyway. Then again, I sense you're not much of a chatterbox. Lop, this is crazy. Lop, this is his mom's crib. My cool king's like no other. Lock, lock, lock. I'm just saying there's any. She in there singing like Thanks hell. To my dear old mother, God rest her soul. That's crazy. You done they singing? They say I'm always gossiping. Secret safe with me unless I sing. Bloody blah, 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 yeah, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. You you <laughs> you doing too much. She loves to spill the tea. That's crazy. How do I get? I 
You know when I first uploaded this video, it took me so long because I kept getting copyrights. Then I realized that all you need to do is just claim fair use because I'm doing gameplay footage of it. So I didn't really have to cut out so many pieces like I did in the first episode. Because I had to cut out Cloud's mom's whole scene. But I didn't actually have to. I just needed to dispute the copyright. I don't know. Oh, I gotta go through there. Let's rest. The town hall. I can't believe this. Oh. Hold up, you red. I mean, uh, cat. Let me see about this queen's blood over here before we get out of here. Let's go. You don't happen to be a card player, do you? It's no use denying it. You're slacking off because you want to play Queen's Blood. Because you're just like me. <laughs> I won't tell if you won't. Comrade, the name's Turner. The top truant. I say, screw working. I'm all about playing hooky. You'd be hard-pressed to find anyone who's better at it than me. I don't give a damn about demotions. Prepare yourself. All right, let's go. Uh, what are we going in with first? Let's go in with... Um, Keep it simple. Let's just go in with the fish. Make my way up. Mm, I hate to use this now, but matter of fact, let's use this. I like this way better. Then we use the flame trooper. That always works so good. Because it blocks everything off quick. Yeah, we're gonna use this right here. That'll give me all of them. Then we need to hurry up, go in with the. Uh, what do we want to go in with it? Let's go in with this. Hopefully, he keeps them two up there too. You want to lose it? All right, okay. Get a little bit of a sacrifice there. So if you're going to take my two up top, maybe I should take your two right here. By putting that right there. How about that? Now you got to play up there. He might get top row. He might get top row. Okay, he flipping. He flipping cards. He flipping cards. I can respect it. Don't have to like it, but I can respect it. I'm going to go ahead swap this one get that a three and then we're gonna put a hell rider there hopefully damn okay good 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 as long as we got enough that's gonna delete that and give me that back yeah you getting your ass whoops shinra soldier then i want to go with a. Uh, let's go with this two right here that make that a three. Oh yeah, he, he really got his ass whooped. Then we're gonna make this a three. Damn, I damn near took this whole board. Are oh, he gonna replace something? What you gonna do? Okay, okay. That's all right, I can, I can deal with that. I'm taking it back though. Hmm, that's gonna take me down, but I get to take that back. That's all right, I'm cool with that. Cause I'm still in more spaces. You can't do nothing with me, bruh, unless you deleting shit. You deleting and you can do something. Other than that, you can't do nothing. You gotta sit and take this ass whooping. That's gonna do two fives, that's gonna do a five and a seven. Let's do that one. And then we can go ahead and throw this in, make that 17. Man, this might be the worst ass whooping I gave somebody. I probably should just end it though, cause it's like playing that is unnecessary. How many points we get? Damn, we got over 40. 52 to zero. 
Raise the power by two for each other and feeble allied card. Damn. 52 to zero. I didn't think you beat me so easily. When I entered contests on the clock, I always won. Yeah, you didn't win that one, bro. I know, I know, I know. You want to chat. You want to tell me everything about your life. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care, bro. I'm trying to see what's up with Cat. I should have known it was too good to be true. I only have limited access from this console. Let me guess. Limited doesn't cut it. Nope. But all is not lost. Excuse me, good sir. Would you be so kind as to grant us entry into Shinra Manor? Don't you have clearance for that? Oh, if only. I'm but a wee bottom feeder. Barely have clearance to use the bathroom, me. Be that as it may, I can't let you in there myself. You'll have to ask my boss instead. Meaning the deputy commissioner? Or the commission himself? Let's meet and greet. Deputy Commissioner Murasaki is up at the reactor, conducting an inspection for corporate. He's due back the day after tomorrow, but he hasn't been in touch to confirm. Could be he needs more time. Uh, we can't afford to dilly-dally. Then we'll just have to track him down. Agreed. Thanks for all the help, Why does Cat think he can convince the deputy to let him in, though? And he ain't got no clearance to do nothing no way. Seems a little... Seems a little overly confident, in my opinion. Where, what about everybody else? Oh, Red right there. So, you're headed to the reactor, huh? Headed to the reactor? No luck at Town Hall, I take it? Hmm. Gotta get a key card. A guy named Murasaki has it, but he's inspecting the reactor. Well then, you'll need a ninja to accompany you. I'm coming with. Me too. Really? You sure? Mm, okay. <laughs> Ask anyone around here. I'm the best there is. All right. You sure you're gonna be okay? We're going on a hike and getting a key card. How tough can it be? You'll still be gone for a while. Sure there's nothing you need to take care of? I'm putting you in charge of provisions. Then make it snappy. My materia needs me. The way they say that... Wait. Nah, don't go yet. Don't go yet. The way he say that, you'll be gone for a while. Like, do I need to do any? Well, I did everything pretty much that I could see. I did need to find those tufts, but you think I could check around back here? Matter of fact, let's check that out. Let's check that out real quick. You don't look like I'm gonna be able to go that way, but I might be able to. I would like to complete everything that I need to do first. I don't know where that PC is then, unless it's inside of one of these mountains, which is possible. Wait, that was a treasure chest up there. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, I see that, I see that box up there. Damn, it's three up here. Now where in the hell are the other three at? That was one of three. Oh, I see the other one right there. How am I supposed to? Oh, yeah, let me get that one. Giga potion. I guess you can kind of fly up the hill if you hit it on the right spot. Oh, is that one? I don't even know where this one was. All right, that's pretty easy. I don't see no tufts of grass though. Look at the whole squad flying. Well, since we're not gonna have Barrett, we're not gonna have Barrett, so we might need Yuffie to kind of take in that long distance roll. But I don't think I wanna make her magic my focus. I still think I want her brutal attacks to be my 
my focus. Damn, she got some dope looking weapons. Bird of Prey is kind of tough. We can give her that Garm bracelet too. Damn. Do I got any like power hitting stuff like the, what else, what else, what else? We got soup, yeah, the high power joints. That's gonna take that up to 261. 261, Bird of Prey. I don't know, we got a lot to learn with Yuffie. If we're gonna be fighting a lot, which I don't know, cause we going to the reactor, so we might definitely have a lot of fighting. I can try to max her out. Let's just see some stuff real quick. On this weapon, we got attack power, attack power, and then like, I don't know, maybe something like opening ATB bonus. That's pretty good. That makes the Crescent Sickle pretty nice. That actually made it the best one, but I didn't put nothing else on these. So let's see. We got X XP, weapon ability, we'll do MP. All right, so that still makes that a weaker one. What about Savage Dagger? Savage Dagger, we got Ice Up, Wind Up, and then we'll do max HP. Then we'll go with the Twin Viper. Twin Viper has weapon damage, attack damage, and max MP. Damn, I think that nice looking one might be the best one. The Crescent Sickle, this one is beautiful. And let's see what Birds of Prey got though, Birds of Prey. All right, nothing crazy. We got critical hit damage really high. Critical hit damage, 20%. Critical hit rate up 5%. That's beneficial, but I think the one that's the best is definitely this right here. This joint kind of hit. And it's nice looking. All right, so now what materia swap vitality and spirit values? I wonder why you want to do that. So far she got, uh, this is lame. She got ice and wind. We're going to need healing. We probably going to need revival. If she going to be our support player too. We're gonna need fire. So we got fire, wind, ice, healing. We need one more, we need lightning. Yeah, we need lightning. Did she already have lightning? Nah, okay, lightning. She already got wind. What about poison? Poison's not something I really use ever, but I think we're going to leave poison off. Fornification, empowerment. See, a lot of these I'm not even going to use. Now we can boost some of these. We could put an element on her stick, on her staff. Sickle is what I'm trying to say. So we could definitely do a elemental matter of fact let's move this ice whoops I did not mean to do that I didn't mean to remove that let's put this ice there and then put that wind there and then we'll do the auto cast hopefully I got a couple of these auto cast yeah let's use this auto cast here and then use an auto cast here that way she'll auto cast healing, auto cast revival. Even though I feel like a lot of times they don't use revival, but I'm gonna hope they do. Then we got fire, let's just swap that here. So we got fire, wind, ice. Let's just do this like this. 
lightning wind ice fire all max cure and then let's add some some ups let's add some ups we can do an hp up and we can do a we could do two hps up hp up which makes her five thousand which might be kind of nice i could give her a first strike which gives her a little bit of quickness atb stagger that could be good too i think i'm gonna do mp up though We'll do MP up. I hate to take that off Aerith, but right now we're not using Aerith, so it's like, eh, I don't want to do that though. Let's just put another HP up on her, so she up to 5,200. That's not bad. I think, I think Yuffie will be good. I think we'll be straight. And then on her combat, we got a whole lot to learn with her. But just on this one, let's go ahead and throw, I think it was Doppelganger, right? Or was it Shooting Star? I think that one might've been Shooting Star. Yeah, Shooting Star. Okay. All right, let's give Yuffie some, give, give Yuffie some uh, play time, man. Let's see what Yuffie can do. We go into the reactor or what? Yeah, let's go. You bridge just went in, you know. Might shave some time off the trip. Sounds like a plan to me. All right, reactor word ho! Reactor world ho! Oh shit, what Roof is talking about? Received word about the Nibelheim survey team. It appears they were ambushed by Wu Tai. <laughs> Indeed, and so it begins. Yeah, he started that shit. He wanted to go to war with him, though. Hurry it up already! But you know, I Not was the thinking. New bridge I see up ahead. I was thinking, and I was like, that dude in that cloak almost egged him on to the point where it was like, maybe he wanted him to want to go to war with Wu Tai for some reason. I don't know. I just be thinking sometimes when I'm editing a video, stuff I missed, like, oh, that might have been meant. That might have meant that. Oh, we can call our bird too. Oh yeah, come here. Oh, we got a treasure too. Hold up. We getting this real quick. I almost wanna do a little bit of traveling. Cause look, this is a whole open area over here. And we ain't in no rush. That's hella far away. There's a lot of treasures out here. treasures out here look at this open land right here this is beautiful 
in a real rundown wasteland kind of way. Head to the reactor. So, okay, I can only go so far. This is as far as they want me to go. Let me just see if I can collect that real quick. Hey, keep your eyes on the price cloud. All right, my bad, my bad. I was just doing a little exploring, that's all. Wanted to make sure we was getting everything. Make sure we seeing everything there is to offer. Got another hidden treasure. There's a lot of little treasures out here. See, look at this. We would have missed this. Got to help little dude out, man. Help little dude get his get his little train station back together. All right, so this is the bridge y'all want me to go across. Oh yeah, this place gonna have all kind of enemies in it. I can already tell. Ooh, somebody got a new weapon. Come on, let it be Cloud, bro. Let it be Cloud. Cloud needs something new. Come on, give me something new. All right, all right, Tiffa got something. I ain't mad at that. Tiffa base, she can have something too. What you give me, what you give me? Damn, these are ass for um, fighting. Crystal gloves. The benefit though, you get an extra materia slot and we don't know what the weapon actually will give you. Attack power, that's a good one. Attack power, that's another good one. And then we could do max open ATB bonus. I think the ATB bonus might be the best one. All right, wait a minute. So now that's hitting 305. What was the other ones? Mm, the other ones were still way more 370. These ain't bad though. I don't mind fighting with them for a second. Get the, get the little skill from it. What's the skill gonna be? Unfettered Fury. I think that's a good one. Sounds like it at least. All right. Where is the entrance to this? Can we go in this way or nah? You need Deputy Commissioner's ID card. Oh, was Zach one of the people? Oh shit. Zach was a dude that got lost. He's in fake hands now. Damn. What is it? I don't remember what happened here. To Zach. Bridge broke. He fell, got swept away by the current. I think he's dead. You never forgot, did you? That's why you've been acting weird. Didn't want to upset you. That's all. Damn. Zach was my friend. How can I just forget him like that? Degradation. It's hollowing me out, bit by bit. You're wrong. 
You remembered, Cloud. It'll be okay. W Tiffa. It will. Always got my back. Thanks. You gotta tell Eric about this. She deserves to know what happened. Yeah. Yeah, she does. But let me be the one to do it. Why? Because she and I are close, you know? Hey! Are you two done yet? Yep. Be right there. Let's just keep this between the two of us. Promise? Sound good to me. See, that's why I love Tiffa, man. She be really there with you, you know what I'm saying? Every man deserves a Tiffa in this world, you know what I mean? It's a cold world, man. Gotta have you a Tiffa. I do see we got a little rest stop here, though. So, does that mean shit about to get heavy or y'all just being nice? I'm gonna take a break for a second. Get my health up. <laughs> Damn, that was quick. They died before I even realized I hit them. Where are we at right now? Let's not waste any time. Mako, this stick is dangerous. All right, let's go. Let's go. These enemies are so easy though. I probably need to work on those skills though. I keep forgetting. I need to do that. We got something down there glowing. This looks like it's about to be a boss fight. I should have put my sleek saber on. I'm just looking a little too chill. Amako Spring. Wait, so this whole thing's materia? Wow, it's so much bigger. Naturally formed materia. And look at the size of it. Astounding. For the Mako energy to condense into something like this, it must have taken an eternity. What the hell? Hey, we should get out of here. All this Mako is making me queasy. Yeah, me too. Oh, he said what Sephiroth said at the at the cutscene at the beginning of the game. Damn. What material is this? HP MP. Now, why in the hell? I mean, I guess you'd have a lot of MP, but why would you want to swap your MP and X? I mean, HP. Look at that. That's actually insane. Swap your HP with your with MP, which means we'll have so we'll have basically infinite MP, but we would be so close to dead like every match. That's actually kind of crazy. There's got to be some kind of use for that, though. Like, if you really protect a person with magic, they basically have unlimited magic. That's kind of dope. Probably ain't gonna work for my gameplay because I usually just go complete offense with the with the fighting. But I don't know. It might on some end game type shit. It's so crazy because we're actually playing through the exact same scene, the exact same thing as we did in the flashback. That's why Tiffa had that flashback because it's like we basically did this with Cloud and Sephiroth. This exact same thing. And I remember we need to get that little material that's down low somewhere. Yeah, I'm positive. Once we get past this part, then I don't know about almost there. Yeah, see, remember when we, when we did this at the beginning? Come on, 
Let's find another route. No need to worry. I've already found one. Good shit, Yuffie. More climbing, but hey. I'm cool with it. In fact, let's use let's use Jeffy. You won't regret this. Little tap. I don't know what I'm doing, but it's working. I don't know what I just did, but I think that was that shooting star. Shooting star was going crazy. That shooting star was going nice. Let's do that again. Yeah, it look like that shit is pretty nice. I can't really tell because everything be going crazy. They be whooping Yuffie's ass too. Matter of fact, I need to heal her up real quick. Ooh. Y'all see what I see? I see me a weapon coming soon. That's what I see me. I'm going to use Yuffie again. Don't overdo it. All right, let's try to use this shooting star from far away. Oh, okay. Oh, that's kind of dope. Yo. Is Yuffie about to be better than Barrett and Eric? Cause she kind of, she kind of go crazy with that shooting star. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yuffie, you you doing your thing with that. I need to master her other ones too, but I like that. There's only one more I gotta do. So let's master this one too. This is the doppelganger. I might as well just, oh, that shooting star go crazy though. All right, let's max that one out too. Come on, new sword for cloud, new sword for cloud. How do I get up there? Looks like I could go either way to the left or to the right. I'm gonna go to the right. You know, I can't say I've ever taken this route before. Yeah. You gonna be okay, Yuffie? Oh yeah, no problem. This is <laughs> nothing compared to what we got in Wu Tai. Like the massive sculpture of the Chow carved into the face of this one cliff. All wait a minute. Just have to scale it. Get off the wall, training. Cloud. That was a new sword and it kind of looked, it looked hard, lightweight. Buster sword. Ooh, this joint kind of nice. And it's gold. 366. Okay, so this is the most powerful I had. Ooh, that hit harder. That hit hard finally, man. We get a better sword. This joint is nice too. So this hit 366 without anything on it. And I get an extra materia slot. HP go up, magic attack go up. And what else we got? Enemy parts, limit, limit gauge stagger. Mm. I might, I might, eh. I never use Punisher mode. I probably should, but I never do. Should I do this the Punisher to limit? I'm gonna do Punisher. I'm gonna do Punisher, why not? 
and we got the item thing we got enemy skill we got comet what's another one we could put on just to just to just make this shit just hit even more maybe i mean the first strike thing didn't really help us none luck up strength up i wouldn't mind speed going up but what you think speed that might be kind of nice having speed go up I don't know I'm just looking around limit siphon that's not really necessary steel What is Prey? Allows you to restore the party's HP with Prey. Prey is actually a really good materia. I never used it. That'll get all our health restored. And the more I level it up, the more HP you'll get. And that doesn't use magic. I might need to use that prayer. We could level boost something. Oh, it looked like, yeah, magnify is not gonna work now because this isn't linked no more. That's all right, I barely use that anyway. We got enemy skill and the comet material. I'm just moving stuff around just cause. So strength is now 15 still, max HP. Are those linked? Nah, nothing's linked. That's all right. That's all right. We don't even need link ones. I think I'm going to put that prayer on him. And maybe this jump is kind of interesting too. Cause you jump up in the air and then you come back with an attack. But I don't know if that's something I'm going to use that often. What about this ATB stagger? That might be kind of crazy. And then on Tifa, well, this is gonna go back off there, but here we could add, maybe add prayer to her. Yeah, let's add prayer to her. Nah, we got it on, we got it on cloud. First strike materia. I'm really curious if this is if this makes a difference though. The first strike. I mean, I know it makes a difference when you have one, but like, what if you have two? I don't know. I think we good now though. Ooh, the this sword is Which nice. Chow beans, of course. Got to eat up when we Yo, get to the top. This sword is <laughs> nice. Hold up, where we gotta go? To the left or to the right? It looked like to the left is <laughs> dead cold, end, so let's go this way. You really don't have to. <laughs> I'm just glad we got a new sword. Something that's still dope, but like new. I was so sick of that sleek saber. It's a big ass climb though. We've been climbing for like. Is this something that way? Yeah, let me get that. I hate to stop and go over, but like, I don't want to miss no materials. That's the worst thing you could do in this game is miss materials. Cause then you won't be able to make nothing with your item transmuter. Wait, there's even more? Damn, there's another chest way down there. Man, I'm probably doing all this for the crappiest items, but I'm doing it anyway. We're gonna have to climb all the way back up. For a sapphire? I mean, I ain't gonna say it ain't worth it, but. Side. 
All right, finally made it up the mountain. At least that part. <laughs> they got us climbing like crazy. Ooh, we can fight in a dragon. Hold up, hold up, hold up. We're gonna get first strike on him. First strike on the dragon. Let's go. Coming through. Keep it together. I'm throwing Yuffie in. Did ya? Damn. Great. Great. I can't do hey, all the heavy lifting. Let's go. I'm trying to max out their stuff. Don't get stuck. Watch all yourself. right, maybe Let's this dragon ain't nobody to play with, though. All right, dragon ain't nobody to play with. Let's actually try to kill him before he kills us. He's putting in work right now. We got it though. We got it. Focus thrust. Take it from here. So if we go in. Great. Yep. That's over now. Let's do that again. I ain't gonna lie, that dragon was a little difficult. I wasn't expecting him to be that hard. That's why I was trying to use their little abilities, but it was like, now is not the time for that. Hey, Cloud, I've been thinking. We're looking for a guy named Murasaki, right? What about him? It's just, uh, his name sounds Utai. I'm sure plenty of your people immigrated to Midgar before the war. Some of their kids and grandkids probably work for Shimmer. Oh. Huh. I wonder if that's the hooded dude. What if that's the hoodie dude? That would be insane. Gotta be a way to get down. I gotta choose a pipeline? Which pipe we choosing? I'm gonna go middle. See see where middle take us. Mm. Do they all go to the same spot? Cosmic ore, all right, I ain't mad at that. Damn, I wonder if I would've got something different if I would've went down a different one. Or they all lead you kind of to the same place. Yo, how many of them is it? Look at all these boxes. Alright, now which one I'm supposed to be picking though? I bet you depending on which one you went down, you would have got different items. <laughs> Should have probably looked that up because I could have, I might have would have missed a weapon the way I went, but it's all right. If we ever miss a weapon, y'all know it'll be in the store anyway, but we got a new store for Cloud, so I ain't mad. Look like I need to maybe bring this over here. Yeah, that way I can climb on top. Yep. I need to heal up too, man. My characters is like dead, dead. I was just hoping that we would run into a rest bench, but I don't know if we're going to. Yeah, I know. As soon as I say that, we're going to have one. But I don't think so because it's like... Hold up, back up, y'all. Back up, back up. Let's heal up real quick. At least give him a little bit. All right, let's go. Our 
welcome foreigners into Wu Tai either. I mean, take Colonel Hawkrock. He and Viceroy Saruth are the whole reason we have an interim government in the first place. In fact, this whole team is made up of nothing but ex soldiers. A bunch of badasses who decided to give Shimra the finger. I like you. Nothing like me. Got so much in common, you'd be best buds. Just saying. It's never too late to join the cause. You know, I really think you'd like it in Wutai. Could bring the whole gang even. We'll start our own Spec Ops unit. The Yuffie Recon Patrol! Shinra will be afraid to even speak our name. They'll stand in awe of the fair ninja who leads her loyal minions and tremble in fear when they see the wire peas coming in hot. <laughs> People will be banging down the door to buy our film rights. Your stunned silence says more than words ever could. I knew you'd be on board. Please shut up. Seriously, Yuffie, you just be chatting like just yapping for real. You just be <laughs> like literally the whole time. Ain't saying shit though. Ooh, this the reactor. Damn. That's Wu Tai, ain't it? Ninjas from Wu Tai. Yeah. Which means we're at war. Damn. But what about my mission? Did command call it off? Why didn't anyone tell me? It's awkward. Aren't we in the middle of a ceasefire, though? That's what they say. Still, doesn't mean we are. And it makes no difference to them either way. Come on. We gotta find Murasaki. Right. Who did that, though? I don't know if it was Shinra or not. This is it. done tons for us remember that whatever what I tell you about the rest and stop <laughs> I knew it bro every time yo every time I'm like yo I don't need to heal up and show sure enough I heal up and there's a resting spot let me just get these deals all right let's go I'm curious exactly what happened though, so I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get to this storyline. I don't want to lead. Now. It's so damn dark in here. I can't see nothing, yo. Let me turn this top light off. I make it kind of dark in here, but I can't even see where I'm going in here half the time. Damn, what is that all on the walls? I'm locking on to the right arm. Alright, let's switch. Yep. I'm 
I'm gonna use Yuffies too. Wait, what was that? Let's get on him. Man, was it two of them now? Man. He getting his ass whooped though. Big time. Alright, that's alright, that's alright. Let's get that right arm out of here. Get that right arm out of here, yo. That right arm out of here. Man, we got two of them. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. Yep. We gotta find Murasaki. That wasn't too bad. I think Cloud is so strong now, though. And then Tifa been stronger than everybody. Did I get that? I don't think I got that master though. I'm not really sold on that new Tifa ability yet. Unfettled Fury. Yeah, it's not maxed out yet. That's all right. That's all right. I don't like that dopping ganger either that Yuffie got. Oh my god, that thing must have done this. I doubt it. They were shot. Damn. Where'd that thing come from, though? Unless Hojo and them was doing it. You know how Hojo liked to just put his monsters wherever he can. Oh, it looked like old boy dead. Damn. W Cloud. Tifa. That's a hell of a flashback, though. It's okay. I'm okay. Same spot and everything. Hey, I think we found our guy. We need to check the inside. There might still be survivors. Yeah. I don't think so, Cloud. It don't look like nobody survived, whatever this was. This should look like. I don't see anyone. room off Mako storage. You? Town hall still. Thought I might be able to do something from here, so I tried accessing the reactor terminal. Anyway, did you find Murasaki? Yeah, we did. He died in a skirmish with Wutai. He... what? Mm-hmm. Then we don't have much time. We have to reach the terminal in Shinra Manor before word gets out. You've got the key card, right? Yeah. Good. Then slot it into the console. I'll work my magic from here. Should have that gate open before you know it. Yeah, because all hell about to break it loose when they find out people died from Wu Tai. Yes, get in there, my son. I'll go ahead and look for the terminal. See you there. 
Meet at the manor. Got it. Cheerio! See ya! Let's go. Well, you heard them. Time is of the essence. We need to find that terminal, ideally before they get back. Yes, sir. You stay behind and wait for them. Once they arrive, you can put that nose of yours to work. Follow our scent right to us. <sighs> you gotta admit, you're the best one for the job. I will concede you have a point. Then let's get a move on. Don't tell me I get to play as cat, yo. Yo. I get to walk around as cat, yo. That's dope. That's too dope. Or Kate. I should say Kate. But I like calling him Cat, you know what I'm saying? It's a little Cat Smith. That's dope. We actually get to, that's the first time we got to control just him. He should be able to ride Red. Even the perception of everything is different. Look how big Red looks from his perspective. That's dope. I wasn't expecting to be able to play as him. All right, when in open spaces, hold R2 while moving to have Kate Smith roll. If Kate, <laughs> I love how I call everybody the wrong name because I remember this is what I called him and when I was a kid and I still call him that. I'm just do it. If Kate Smith collides with an object while rolling, he will fall over and take a moment to recover. So make sure you don't run into anything if you want to keep your momentum. All right. You don't need to wear yourself out. That's kind of dope. Can I get items and stuff or nah? Another six months and I'm out of here. Hope I can end mm, up. Can we talk to her? Fine. If you're that desperate to buy something. Yo, it would be dope as hell if cats could walk. Yo, that would be too dope. Like imagine this your cat. This isn't your home anymore. Imagine Remember your cat that. walking around right. like this, yo. That's too dope. I love it. They can't survive without us looking after them, but Hey, I get it. Like, why even bother, right? This is too to dope, honest, yeah. Sometimes I wonder if it'd be kinder to just put them out of their misery. I love it. Alright, let's get our roll on. <laughs> Literally. Careful out there. Where are we going though? Shinra Manor. Wait, Shinra Manor is where? Oh, up here. Mm, we got a little resting station. I'm good though, we don't need to rest right now. I kind of wish they had more situations where we were able to control other characters though. Or maybe like an ability to just play as that character. That's maybe one thing I would have added to this game that might have just took it even further in the crazy category of being so good. But like to control any character that's with you as the main character would have been next level. But I don't know. I don't know if that would have been hard for them to do or easy. Because like it seemed like every character is pretty much coded to be walked around by the... Main they character position. Stops decorating this place. Definitely seen better days though. Ah, what's a few cracks between friends? It's almost 50 years old. This can't just be a fancy house. I'm gonna go out on a limb and agree with you there. The village is practically drowning in a sea of black robes after all. So what if it is? Well, it would add weight to the rumor that Bojo used to conduct experiments here. <laughs> Doubt it's just a rumor. You think we can go anywhere that we couldn't go before? Uh, don't look like it. Because the stairs still look like they... Well, no, the stairs... Yeah, the stairs is blocked off. So I ain't really else, nothing else to do. Yep. Got a couple goodies, though.
<laughs> I love how he walks around just like he owns the place, yeah. Barrett, you're too damn big to be around him, man. I can barely see in front of him. Barrett, big as shit, yeah. We might have to fight, y'all. Huh. This a kid's clubhouse. Ooh, I think it's a bit more dangerous than that. I might need to switch some weapons around. But nay, bother. I'll protect you. Uh... Hello and welcome to Shinra. Oh shit. <laughs> Hold on. I don't know what it is you hope to find here, but I'm afraid this facility has been abandoned for some time. Everything of value is gone, but please feel free to poke around. Ah, it's not him, just an AI caretaker. That said, this facility has always had a place in my heart. I must insist that you leave it in the condition in which you found it. And with that in mind, I won't keep you any longer. Thanks for dropping in. Damn. <laughs> Hojo crazy as shit. But I kinda like him though, because he's so crazy. That was a sore one. Huh? Damn, Barry. Don't walk into the light, Barrett! <clears throat> that shit hit. It's gonna get it. Ooh, I, I saw think a weapon we're chest. In here. <laughs> like rats in a cage. No squeezing through those bars. Huh? That duck, however, might just fit a cat. Sit tight, I'll have you out in a jiffy. You know what would be cool? Like, I don't know if they probably could do it. But like, imagine a situation where like you recording and if you're in a tunnel or like in a place like this, like all of a sudden, this isn't a good echo, but like all of a sudden you have an echo attached to your voice. Wouldn't that be crazy? Like since we in a tunnel, this is my alter ego. I need the max wing. I need the max wing. So like if we was in the cave, now all of a sudden we start sounding like this. Would that be dope if they added that like some kind of way, some kind of program where it was like if you in a place where everybody's echoing and you would echo with it? That'd be kind of cool. All right, before I go running around, though, I might need to go ahead and move some stuff around with Kate, with Cat Smith, because Arif is good. Barrett, we already know, is definitely good. It looks like he got an upgrade. His weapons is even more materia slots. The only one that needs a big upgrade is definitely Kate, a.k.a. Cat. We can give him this advanced road bracelet. That's a pretty good, it's a pretty good armor. He's got to keep the pedal meter though, because I don't know how much money we've made from this, but I swear we probably made a lot of money just by having this equipped. So I'm gonna keep that equipped. As far as the megaphone, it looks like this one hits the hardest. Damn, and it's got three slotted linked materia. Three double linked materials. Damn. He don't even have a summon attached to him. Let's give him uh let's give him Titan. And then as far as this, we can do magic attack up, max HP, and opening ATB bonus. He's got luck up and level boost, which I don't know why he's boosting the level of luck. I mean, I guess that that's fine. It's not really a big deal though. 
It's alright. Mm, what else do we, should he have? Definitely a healing materia, just in case we need to heal up somebody. We'll give him an ice materia. We could do an elemental. Since we kind of got all these open slots. Let's do an elemental. Let's do an elemental. Uh, let's do an elemental ice. Let's put the ice there. Do elemental ice. And then what else we got this open? We got lightning. Uh, we got wind. I need the max wind. And we got poison. Eh, poison is so lame. Maybe it's really not, but I just never use it. AP up. Hmm, I could use that maybe to help boost something while I'm playing with, with cat. Maybe have it boost up. What should we have it boost? I mean, luck is actually kind of important for him because he has this attack that is based on luck. And it, it's a big deal because if it hits, it hits hard. And if it don't hit, then it hits like nothing. So it's almost good to have luck on him because yeah, it'll come in handy. Matter of fact, let me move that. I don't know if we had that. Yeah, fortune telling, that's the one. Lady Luck is called upon the goddess of fortune to temporarily increase allies critical hit rate. I'm going to use this just for now, just to max this out. But fortune telling is one of my favorite ones. Damn, you know, the lights off in this room kind of look good in the camera, though, don't it? They about to come back on, but it kind of looked dope. Dark like that. All right, let's go. Press R2 to roll in the duck. I hear something sound like it's behind me. Almost sound like something was chasing me. Uh oh. Use Lady Luck. Use it again. <laughs> I like this. It's, he's such a fun character to play with. I'm just boosting up this lady luck. Max that shit out soon. He's a very fun player to play with. When faced with a switch, place too high for Kate Smith to reach. He'll rely on his mogul. Press up so the mogul can materialize and do the heavy lifting. Lift, place, box, throw, slide, change, strength. Okay. So I can turn into him. So I can do that whenever I want to and turn into him. He's slow as hell, though. <laughs> the muggle's slow as shit, yeah. Look at the details, though. That is crazy, the amount of detail on the fur and just the way that fat moves. Hey, Jack. Should you run out of boxes, simply step on the blinking switch and you'll receive a new one. Okay, L2. I'm supposed to hit this switch, right? Yeah, right there. Stick mode. It says something about holding. Strength and direction throw. Yeah, there you go. There you go. What we get? What we get? What we get? It's probably another megaphone. Yeah, golden megaphone. Let's get him out of here. He's so slow. <laughs> He's like ridiculously slow. We can keep him when we need him, but 
I don't need him all the time. Now, what about the uh, what about this gold phone? Mm. It's kind of shitty, honestly. None of the link material works, but if it has a bunch of attack ups, nah, it don't. It's only got one. It's not worth it. You could tell I don't play with Kate at all. Ain't none of his weapons maxed out. I mean, we just got him, but like, he's not really one of my he never used to be one of my favorite characters. I actually kind of like him now, though. Wait. Destroy the, destroy the crates by throwing Shinra boxes at them. Oh. Alright, hold it. Pull it back. And then launch it. Good shit, good shit. All right, now we gotta figure out a way to get them out of here. Probably gonna need another box. Is there a switch over here? Oh yeah, right here. Hold. A little bit closer. Hold up, bruh. There you go. Ah, got it. Just out of reach. <laughs> Just you leave the problem solving to me, eh? It's so hard to see in here. I can barely see you. Got some revival earrings. All right, nothing crazy in there. Oh, we gonna need boxes again. Okay. <laughs> How many boxes can you get in there? Yeah, drop as many as you want. Alright, now where do we gotta throw it? Gotta throw one up here to get this. Orb of gravity? I don't think I've ever seen that one before. Alright, we'll hold R1. Tilt back. That's it. All day. I cannot believe how realistic the fur and shadows look on this character though. He's slow as hell, but he just they just look so real. I gotta try to make this into Damn, this is about to be kind of difficult. Alright, if I stand here and go full back and then throw it right now. Okay, I think I got it in. Let's see, did I get it in? You probably need more than Marvel one. Levels increasing. Additional accelerants yeah. required to meet operational standard. That's all right. We got it. We got it. We got it. Toss it. Good shit. Good shit. Generator online. That was a pain in the ass. I'm going to be cutting out a lot of pieces to this part because it's just like a lot of like little tedious stuff. Damn, what is that? Oh, that's the Halloween enemies. I remember them. From the original game that's crazy they did so good with keeping the original enemies That was fun. Attack and magic materia. Yo. Yo, an attack magic switch. What if I put that on Aerith? What the hell would that do? That would be crazy on Aerith. 
if we switched her magic and attack, she would be hitting harder than everybody. Imagine we do that. <clears throat> well, I guess she wouldn't be hitting harder than everybody, but she would be hitting hard because see her magic is up. Damn, that would be crazy. She would still be weaker than Barrett though. I like them little switch materials though. That's hella cool. They would never, those were never in the original game. It kind of make you think like, damn, I can hook some shit up with this. There, got it. Huh? Hey? Uh oh, this is gonna be a oh, boss fight. Hey. Oh shit, we by ourselves too. Damn. What the hell? Yo, that looks crazy. That looked crazy as hell. I do remember a, a fight in the original called Yin and Yang. I remember it looking like that though. Shit, I need I need this, some, some health. All right, wait a minute, wait a minute, back up. Let's use an X potion. Just for the doctor order. Yeah, that's good. Fortune teller. Good shit, good shit. remember like something with the difference between magic and attacks like maybe you got to hit him with with actual attacks yeah let's go in go in go in go in yep that fortune teller go crazy. Okay, okay, okay. Let's use that. Use that arrow. Yeah, get that. Get that stagger. Get that stagger. Damn, I was so close. I was so close. Heal up. Good shit, good shit. Fortune teller. Good shit. Fortune teller. Good shit. Alright, is he switching? Alright, good shit. All right, let's um, fuck it. Let's bring in Titan. This is gonna knock your socks off. I might as well. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with a couple extra hits here and there. What we got? We got Mountain Crusher. Let me use a spell on him. Let me use Arrow still. Ow. That came keen. Damn, did he mess my attack up? Alright, we got his limit. We got a limit. Let me get on the Mogul. And get on that limit. This is the first time I've seen his limit. Oh 
Damn. I don't even know what happened, but it happened. <laughs> it took his ass out, yo. Never again. You okay? Oh, all the better for a wee lie down. So then, onwards and upwards. Onwards and upwards. Let's go, cat. Ah, oh, for crying out loud! What is it this time? You'll require the password to proceed. Huh? Oh You're shit! Okay. That's Hojo. Now, now, no need for violence. I come in peace. And to abet your escape as well. Huh. Like hell you do. Really, it's true. You're far more resilient than anticipated. And I concluded that, rather than allow you to run amok any longer, I ought to help you see yourselves out peacefully. The password is comprised of four two-digit numbers. I wrote them down in this very room, but where? Well then, no time to waste. <laughs> Where the hell? Input password. And he wrote them in this room somewhere. So I'm assuming maybe behind these because there's a whole bunch of these sitting there. Question is, where did he write the numbers at? Oh, I see him right here. Was that 36, 10, 59, 97? And it's a three digit, it's four digits. Rotate dial, change dials. Oh, you just spin it. That's a different kind of way to do it. So we got 36. 36. And we got 10. Then 59. 59. Oh, you know what? The reason they're making us do this is because in the original, we had to do this with the safe. It's so dope how much they pay homage to the original game. And then 97. I remember it being way harder to find the code in the original. That was quick as hell. What you talking about? I found them digits quick, boy. Oh, how forgetful of me. This area is off limits to any unauthorized personnel. It's where I've been keeping a rather unruly thing. Damn. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> and so I'm afraid you'll have to dispose of it. Oh yeah, I remember him. Try not to die. It's crazy how much I remember the characters, but like I don't remember too much of the story from this part of the original. All right, Kate. I'm gonna switch to a little bit more reliable players. Kate, cool, but like he just he just ain't really he ain't my favorite to play with. Let me assess him real quick. It's a what does that say? Inflicting enough physical damage will make it resistance to physical attacks. While magic damage will make it resistant to magic attacks. Forcing it to switch resistances multiple times will pressure it. Okay, so we gotta keep switch switching back and forth. That makes sense. All right, now he's immune to physical, so we want to hit him with some magic. Damn, I don't really have no magic, though. Well, that's a lie. I can hit him with this. All 
Does Aerith have any magic on her? Oh, nah, it's just. I think it's just healing up. Yeah, I should have switched that. I didn't know he was going to be fighting somebody like this. Let's do Thunder. He just switched again. Ooh, and we got him pressured. We got him pressured. Let me hit that, uh, matter of fact, let's hit that synergy. That was kind of weird, but. We almost got him. Almost got him staggered. Hit him with that lightning. Hit him with that lightning. Damn, he whooping Baird's ass. Good shit. Staggered. Go in. Go in. Go in. Going in with that fortune teller too. Yep. Got that focus shot on him. He ain't done yet. It's immune, it's immune, it's immune. Switch. I wish Baird and Arab had more than just healing up, but it's like, it is what it is. I can bring a summon in, but I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna pass on that. Good shit, good shit. What's that weak spot right there? Let's aim at that weak spot. Damn, it's immune to everything. Let's hit that weak spot. Tentacle or arm? Let's hit the tentacle. Damn, it's, it's like I ain't hardly doing no damage to him though. Trying to go in on that arm, but it's just really messing me up that nobody has magic. But you know what? Kujata does. I'm bringing him in. Yeah, because he can do all different type of shit. So we can actually have him do summon abilities, Rage and Bull. Let's do that on a tentacle. Yeah, his ass is pressured too. Matter of fact, let's do that. Uh, let's do that sweet and sour on the tentacle. Yeah, 
Get that joint built up. That was dope. And then we're going to use that summon ability too. Let's use a uh, blazing horn. Because I think that's fire. Yeah. You about to get pressured again. Use that uh let's use that Mega Moogle Mash. Okay, a little something, a little something. We got him pressured. Ooh, that fortune teller. Fortune teller going crazy. One more time. Yep. How oh, wasn't he built for this kind of thing? Excellent work dispatching that seed. Thanks to you, the manor is a little more neat and tidy. All well earned praise aside. Since that nettlesome test subject is finally out of my hair, I have no further reason to remain here. <laughs> it's been nothing if not entertaining. Until we meet again, exterminators. Damn. Dude, just use this just to clean up the lab. That smug asshole. Next time I see him, I'm ramming my fist right through his face. Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> we best get going. The terminal's waiting. For sure. I like Cat. Like, I love playing with Cat, but, like, at the same time, his fighting is just not really the style I like to play with. And I forgot Baird and Aerith have no offensive magic. And it was like, I'm surprised we actually did that the first try. We did pretty good to not have any offensive magic on two of the characters. There go Cloud. Glad to see you, bruh. Well, well, look who the cat dragged in. Hey there. Uh. So, find that terminal? Let's just say we got a little sidetracked. Well, we can but try again. No sense tune on past mistakes. Uh, right. Well, I'm glad to be playing with Cloud again, I ain't gonna lie. Now that everyone is reunited, the search for the terminal can continue. Kate Sith is dead set on finding it, but it leaves one empty spot in your party. More threats can be lurking within. So choose your comrade wisely. Bro, I ain't tripping. You already know it's Cloud Tiff a Bear. You know what I'm saying? As long as we got Cloud Tiff a Bear, we, we winning. Off the rip, we winning. Unless this is something. Nah, that's locked. Oh, here we go. <laughs> These textures are not loaded up. <laughs> yo, is that Vincent? Don't tell me we about to see Vincent, yo. If Vincent come out, I'm going to be kind of hyped. I ain't going to lie. He was one of my favorite late game characters. Just because he always had a gun with him. Like his main weapon was his gun. The core's a bit grim, no? He in there, ain't he? That's Vincent, y'all. So he, he clean, yeah. Doesn't matter. Who are you? Vincent Valentine. I'm. Security. Uh. Why are you here? Be brief. Your terminal. Mm -hmm. Keycard. Mm. 
Didn't do shit. <laughs> Didn't do nothing. The authorization at least. Oh, great. <laughs> oh, shit. Though you're clearly not Murasaki, explain yourself. Ah, uh, it's a bit of a long story, and we'd love to tell you all about it, but there's something we really need to look up first. Can't go letting our foe win the information war, eh? Your foe? And who might that be? I must say Sephiroth on this one. A man who many people, myself included, once called a hero. Sephiroth. He's insane, and he's after something so powerful. He could destroy the planet, unless we stop him. I see. Uh, then I've one more sin to atone for. The room is unlocked. Use it as you see fit. Mr. Murasaki. Mm -hmm. Don't mind if we do, I guess. That's crazy. He's sleeping in that damn coffin like that. That's got to be crazy as hell. It's just weird because like anybody could just put something on top of your ass and lock you in. He will join us eventually. I don't know if he's going to join us in this game, but in the next part, he'll definitely be part of the crew. <laughs> that's crazy even the muffled voice that's dope all right let me heal up because i got a feeling something gonna pop off they're giving us a lot of rest stations there she is Cloud, my boy! Still got that key card. Gonna need a bit of time with this. Might I suggest a spot of recon? Alright, can't be going to work, man. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't mad at you, bruh. What you doing in here, Yuffie? You ain't stealing, is you? I know how you like to steal shit. Yuffie be in here stealing materials, stealing books. If I ain't got nothing to say, don't look like nobody got nothing to say. Red ain't got nothing to say. <coughs> oh shit! This look like where we need to go then. Uh, where is this cord going? I'm actually controlling this right now too. It's just moving hella slow. Sephiroth music be hella hard, I ain't gonna lie. That shit tough. Come on, Cloud. Come <laughs> on. 
out of here. <laughs> oh no! What was that? Sound like something blew up. Oh, shit. I don't recall giving you permission to go in there. Oh, it was an honest mistake. We didn't mean any. Ah! <laughs> yeah. Don't hurt me, please. I can explain. Drop it. <laughs> Why should I? He's trespassing, like you. Save it. Had a pretty shit day. What a coincidence. So have I. Oh shit. <laughs> Damn, we gotta fight Vincent? He can turn into a wolf. Yeah, looks like that's what he's about to do. You damn freak! Come on. Oh yeah, we on it. I actually forgot he could turn into a werewolf. I don't think we had to fight him in the original, though. This is a little bit new. At least I think. Ooh, we got that off, though. I'm pressing him. I'm pressing him. Yeah, that's your ass right there. That's your ass right there, Vincent. Let's finish this. This ends here. Good shit, good shit. Don't overdo it. Keep my distance. Then we're going to go in with Cloud. Get on that triple slash. That's all right. Go back with Barry. Focus shot. Get that stagger built. All right. You grab Barry. Should I bring in my summon? I don't even think we need it, low key. I mean, maybe, but. All right, let's get that. Let's get that. Um, refocus. Can't hold me back. All right, he's doing pretty good right now. Hit him with that fortune teller. All right, we got the limit. We got the limit. Let's go in. Any last words? Damn. I missed two of them, but... That last one hit. Yeah, yeah. This he dead now. His ass is grass for sure. Get that triple slash again. Yep. 
One more time. You wanted that heat, Vincent. We weren't even tripping I like that. I know your story. Vincent Valentine, former Turk. Stumbled on your file in the company database. There's a reason you're alone in the dark down here. And that reason has something to do with Sephiroth. Am I right? <laughs> That's none of your business. I only ask because you might want to come with us. I don't know whether Sephiroth is dead or alive or something in between. But I do know that if I stick with this lot, I'll find out one way or another. Is this how you want your story to end? He hurt right now. <laughs> Got his ass whooped, Joe. Get out. No. That'll be your way out then. Now we know where the temple is, let's not bother the man. Hey, Space Cadet. Come on. I'm I'm curious, is Vincent gonna be one of our He locked himself in that room, didn't he? Yeah. I guess not now. But I do remember in the original game, like you couldn't get him off top. Like you had to get him later. But I mean it's kinda different in this one anyway, but I just love the fact that he's actually in here, though. That all you ever think about? Well, excuse me for trying to be helpful. I wonder when we'll get him though, if we get him, I don't know. I mean, everything else has been exactly like the original game, so I'm pretty sure we'll definitely get Vincent at one point, but that point ain't about to be right now. I thought the white ones you could break. He might be waiting out here for real. Okay, next stop, the temple. Hear that black materia? I'm coming for you. Oh man, my rep's gonna go through the roof! Well, it ain't like it could go down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. oh, it's on. Yeah. So, <laughs> where is it? Aye, about that. What's the matter? You ain't been bluffing this whole time, have you? No, that's not it. We could go there right now, if you really wanted. <laughs> But before that, would you mind a quick trip to the saucer? What? Why would we want to go there? To even set foot inside the temple, we'll need to get our hands on a relic called the Keystone. Trouble is, it's been missing for nigh on 20 years. So, any guesses as to where it was last seen? The gold saucer. I know, it's a stretch, no denying that. But it's the only lead I've got. Then let's follow it. 
We trust you. Damn. You do? Thank you. <laughs> uh, thank you. <sighs> thank you. Well, if we gotta. Once we're good, let's get a move on. Right. I do there I do remember it being <laughs> so stupid as shit. I do there I do remember it being some drama with cat though. Like I don't remember exactly what the drama was, but it's gonna be some drama with cat eventually. How's our health? Yeah, we need to heal up. The only negative about having somebody do auto cast is they really overdo it sometimes. It's like they waste all their damn MP. So we got to go back to the gold sorcerer. This is probably What's when we'll this? go on a date with Tifa. He on that shit now too. He on some juice. Our long awaited reunion. I'm not going with you, so back off. <laughs> you misunderstand. I'm defying my boss to be here. Cause I've got a hunger that cannot be denied. That sword cloud got a dope. My desire to see you has driven me on. That's what I get for redlining the old engine. All right, my friend, it's the final lap. So let's con it one last time! He's mine. All right, I got it. Enough of you. Mm -hmm. Say goodbye. Lock that shit. Enough of you. Come on. Damn, that blade blast is nice. I'm through. Okay, okay, let me get mine off. Say goodbye. Alright. That's cool. Let me heal up. Let me heal up. Feeling good. No. <laughs> so Oh, that shit, bro. Ooh, that's sending him into a. Say goodbye. Yep. Yep. Enough of you. Don't run, bro. That block can really come in handy, though. I'm through with you. Enough of you. Mm -hmm. That new that new ability is dope. Bro having a heart attack and shit. Okay? Uh, 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 I 
want Yo. to have your pity. This is a race, remember? Come on, Cloud. We're yeah. on the home stretch. Even Cloud's like, yo, you good, bro? You having a heart attack and shit? Yeah. Come on, bro. You don't want this shit. You really don't. No more playing nice. Just let it go, bro. Cross slash in this shit. Yeah, you're done, buddy. You're done. There's no escaping the degradation. My friend. Well, you got that extra juice in you. I gotta start blocking more, man. That blocking is different. Damn, he just spawned in like that? Black materia. Dream on! That materia is mine! Damn. There's no escaping the degradation. Tiffa know he's scared. That won't happen to you. Don't worry. Yeah, she's right. You're gonna be just fine. Come on. The gilded saucer awaits. And the keystone. Yeah. They're so supportive. I fuck with that. So so heavy in this game. It's like the team just really hold each other down. <laughs> Come on. Huh? What is that? Look. <laughs> These textures be popping in like crazy. Oh, that's what's his name. Supporters of the Shinra Resistance Committee. My name is Glenn Lodbrock, a representative of Wu Tai's interim government. The hour is upon us when we must rise up to confront tyranny. Mere days ago, Junon's cannon rang out. A message, a declaration by Shinra's new president that he, like his father before him, would rule by fear. What's more, we recently learned that he had sanctioned the development of living weapons grown within the Mako reactors that provide power to your homes. Alarmed, we decided to seek answers. And in accordance with the ceasefire treaty, our government sent officials to investigate. Shinra promised their full cooperation. But when our inspectors duly arrived, they were mercilessly slaughtered. The footage you are about to see was taken from inside one of the reactors. Who did it? That's what I want to know. Oh, these were Shimmer soldiers. Damn. This is what Rufus Shinra calls a ceasefire. Friends, we do not have our enemy's military might. Nevertheless, a righteous fury burns in each of our hearts. A fire that we may carry to Midgar. And there, together, put the city of Mako and Misery to the torch. This is our answer, Rufus Shinra. We are ready to march. And to lead us. Wutai's commander, Viceroy Saru. Rufus don't look like he give a damn. Who exactly is this Saruf? The invisible man?
Regrettably, we have no intelligence to present at this time. <laughs> then you clearly aren't looking hard enough. Look harder. Ma'am. What about that Glenn... what's his name? Glenn Ladbrock, ma'am. Ex-soldier, P0 class, a prototype. Fifteen years ago, he was sent to Redor on a geological survey, which ended in failure and led to his defection. <laughs> a spineless deserter nursing a grudge, then. Subsequently, Lodbrok took to the road, seeking to forge connections with others who shared his anti-Shinra sentiments. <laughs> if you mean Avalanche, they're dead and buried. I'm afraid I do not, sir. The fall of the Republic triggered a spate of uprisings in the surrounding regions. We suspect the SRC is largely comprised of forces who were defeated during the unrest. Well, who could blame them? They fought against the Republic in the name of freedom. But when the smoke finally cleared, they found themselves under the heel of a new oppressor. Why, I'd be more surprised if they didn't hate us. <laughs> Pity about Saruf. Would be good to put a face to the name. Damn. The Ancient is en route to the temple as we speak. Pursuing her is our top priority. She will guide us to the promised land. One way or another. Hmm. Mm. Regarding the speech, sir, many will interpret it as a declaration of war. And given that it was a worldwide broadcast, it would be prudent to issue a response. I intend to make a statement. Sung, if you would. Sir. That's crazy. I didn't realize it was so much deep story going on in in this part of the game. I mean, I do remember something with Wu Taito, but like I don't remember like all of this. So, how exactly are we supposed to get back to the saucer? With all the mountains and valleys in between, definitely not on foot. It's just way too far. Thoughts, Kixef? Hey, Cat! Thoughts? Huh? Um, well, you see... Smoke. What's up, Witty? Maybe someone's trying to call for Sid? If so, let's hitch a ride. Whew. What happened to Cat? Breaking news at this hour. <laughs> he always had all the answers, all of a sudden he just froze up. Cloud. I'm picking up proto relic energy signals from a group of roped individuals. You are? Indeed, though I'm unable to ascertain why. So, check it out? How very astute of you. While they're not in any obvious hurry, they do appear to be heading toward a specific location. Should you find the time, I ask that you track their movements. See where it is they're going. I think they're going back to the uh, coral region. Oh, maybe not, actually. All right, let's check this out. We got some side quests to do. I think I'm going to go ahead and pause this episode here. Maybe clean up a few side quests. Let's see what we got on this board. Yeah, maybe clean up some side quests. Maybe go out to the region. Little proto relic situation. 
Matter of fact, let's see what this proto relic is. Sometimes they be actually kind of cool. Road figures are shambling towards some unknown destination. Find out what exactly it is. We're just trailing them. You are Chadley. That's the plan. At least till they get to wherever they're going. Mm -hmm. Getting sleepy, are we? With how slow they walk, who wouldn't? We can run on ahead and play scout. But stay where we can see you. <sighs> Since we left the veil, I never should have dropped the intellectual shtick. Yeah, we just, uh, this is the type of stuff I do off camera, y'all. This is why I be doing it off camera, because shit be, like, mad slow sometimes. So, I'm going to just, I'm going to do that. I'm going to pause this episode here. Next episode, come back. We're going to get on some side quests, back in the main mission, and see what's up with that. I love y'all. Peace. That was amazing. Hey, check out Sunny D. It's like the great Sunny D. Hey. All of those long, hard eyes of walking. Definitely pay I see that. I see that. Sunny Daniel Enterprises.